My life is art. Art is my life. So I'm trying to bring something, whatever I see outside, bring into my into me and try to explore and deliver into my own language. If you notice, I did a lot of sculptures over here by using recycled materials, um, like found medias. Eventually, when I collect the artworks, I have an idea for what this this particular art piece is going to be. Um, but the changes will happen. I, I, I allow the changes in my studio. Um, maybe the the artworks has been uh, the medium will be changed. The, the the character also will be changed according to my um, the process how I want to you know, further go. Uh, in a way, I don't like to be pre-planned in my uh, creations. Actually, I allow myself to be free and uh, trying to express. Actually, uh, but I don't know whether I can achieve that. Whatever in my inner feelings, I trying to bring it out. In a way, I like to have that connection with the characters of the, you know, the, the materials what is available, right? So closely, I'll be, I, I study the technique aspect also because we have to understand, for example, the scrap materials is not, it is not just as a scrap materials because each material has its own characters and its strength. We have to understand those weakness and strength of the particular material so that I can handle it in a proper way. When I also started this project, uh, I didn't have this idea you know, what I'm going to create because the, the idea comes as I see when I see the materials there, then and there. Um, I never thought that you know, in this period I'm going to you know, create uh, uh, so many artworks. So that energy and speed happens because of the available, availability of the materials and uh, um, the, the, the surroundings of the energy and the, the person who help out in my, you know, um, uh, what you call the creations. Because um, we need each and every uh, step by step some um, uh, other uh, you know, person to be involved in my creation also because it's not less like, uh, artists do everything together. We should also know the uh, technical aspect because uh, as an artist, it's not just using like a acrylic or watercolor in a canvas, no? Because this is something physically I'm involving to you know, fight with this tough material because the material is very tough and strong. When the, some materials you want to be, uh, you know, to bend a little bit, in a, especially the mild steel. So we have to know the process called annealing. The annealing process is which where we, you know, it, we give a, at a certain temperature, we maintain it, and after the temperature, that you know, that, that uh, the material is a little bit flexible for us to, you know, uh, to blend when you do the hammering. So other thing is called tempering. You know, these are the technical, uh, what you call the mechanical uh, aspects where we try to. Uh, implement on that particular uh, uh, what you call materials.
those things also is very very important for us as an artist to understand it's not just to found media just go on you know, uh, take from the junk and just trying to uh, fix it or combine together uh, it's 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 something beyond that actually to understand the media also how does where the ideas comes from actually um, in, in a way it's all we see in everyday life it's also we are already we are associated with nature and daily lives uh, for example when i do a tree of life concept is nothing new i'm not uh, creating uh, something very new uh, what i call that uh, uh, subject actually no it is already there everybody sees actually but the art is something where i'm um, giving output is something um, some new experience you no know? visual experience you know that new experience that is for me i think that is an art actually for example when you want to do a coating in a in a finished uh, sculpture we need to know certain procedures also first thing is we have to do a, a what you call emery sheet with a, a sand blasting and also we have to wash with a thinner after washing that we have to do a painting so after painting we have to do a lacquer coating or sealing it so step by step is there no we have to also understand that's why like even artists uh no when we do this uh, process actually we have to know the each and every steps to uh, at least we don't involve directly but we have to know the procedures uh, what are the procedures involved in this to uh, to complete an artworks even when I, when i was doing the painting also for example like you uh, know i come the day when i do a red color painting and i, I leave and come back next day something is you know giving a disturbance to me when i see again the subject you know why red no the question arises me then i i don't immediately go and change there it will keep going whenever i passing by i just is communicating with me you know something is inviting me you know i don't know some inviting can be a negative or positive that is a different story but it started to communicate it it's it's is holding my is holding my emotion there and when i doing sculptures and i passing by you know that red stimulating me you know to be inviting me or whatever something is there no something is telling me you no know? then i come back and i take a spray paint again i make it white completely white so that white i don't know whether right or wrong what i'm doing again i come back and i use some textures there no why is plain no the question is arising me arising me that's why i said i even i sign my paintings it's not complete for me unless the collectors collect and hang in homes this is a different story but it is with me that something is inviting me i think that you know i i need to communicate always you know that's that's the reason i said that journey i didn't fix it this is red color i want for this particular sculpture i want red color i didn't fix my mind there that's why the changes also happens you uh, know because i didn't uh, have a con concrete uh, what you call like a fixed mind to tell that you no know, this is a, a color i want to paint it for this so once i have that fixed mind maybe i leave it but since i didn't have that uh, fixed uh, color composition in that sculpture the colors is been keep on changing unless you know i'm fully um, satisfied for that moment 
So even I satisfied that moment after three months of one year, if you see the same sculptures, if he invites and tells that bring me to the next level, I'm okay and happy to go with uh, you know, the ideas of my uh, communication there. some basic uh, uh, technique involvement in this uh, you know, tough medium. So that add in value for me, I put it together as my creative part and my technical part together. Then, and these are things that what you see now is outcome actually. Even I want to plan something with the sketches also that, that exactly that what I'm creating the sketch won't be in my outcome also. So I allow myself to be free, uh, not to keep very, uh, how do you put like, um, control myself, you know, that, that control, I don't like it actually, you know, I like to be explored and allow myself to be free when I create my artworks. Sometimes where I need to be controlled, the materials, I'll be controlling the material. Sometimes I let go with that because it's uh, in a way like, you know, adding sketches uh, in my, you know, like pre-planning pre also is not going to work in my creation actually. <laughs> Art, art is giving a frustration because we, when we, what we are trying to achieve when we are not achieving it, there are a lot of frustrations happening there. So, so in a way, also it gives another way also, no? both extreme ends, no? happiness. When we get what you want, you will be get, no? happily, we will be, you know, enjoying the process and the outcome also. So, we have to be, you know, uh, we can't expect only the, what you call the positive of uh, output in art actually, you know, we have to be ready to be, also to be failure. Uh, dealing with this a tough medium, right, uh, which I was explaining earlier, it's not like a painting, you so know, even if we make a mistake, we can just erase it and uh, we can put one more layer and we can continue the next painting. Here, something is very fixed and permanent, where we have to be very, very, very careful and we have to be decide sometimes where it, uh, no, where it, this material is going to be fixed. Once it's fixed, again, it's difficult to remove and a you know, lot of other processes is also go going to be involved and the character will be changing because when you're going to grind it or when you're going to be removed from the welding area, the entire characters and the, you know, the, the, the tones will be changing there. So each and every step, you have to be go step by step, step by step, and you have to give the instruction carefully and where the, our uh, person who is helping out, our welder, our helper who's going to help us also must be very close to understand my feelings and my emotionals. Because it's very emotional things where it's not like something like a, like fixed of uh, like uh, doing like craft work, right? This is something only one piece. Even if you ask me to create again one more piece in this particular, same particular, uh, no, whatever I created, it's very difficult to re repeat again. Because the emotional feelings are that moment, that time, that day, how it goes, it will be keep going. So uh, nothing to be, you know, fixed there. Because when I come to the studio, I come with a very, blank mind that I don't know anything. I'm going to start something very new. And that journey brings me towards where I want to lead, where I want to go. So I'm happy with that journey. On the, on the journey itself, whatever I see in doubt, I bring it to my heart and that from there it comes a deliver into a different way. And that journey brings, and this is the output, what you see here is the output of that journey. I'm satisfied with now what is there. I'm stopping here now and maybe tomorrow when I see again it's invite me and it communicate to me that and it brings to me uh, to the next level. No? That means like today I'm satisfied with this output but not tomorrow.
I don't know, tomorrow it's, it will be there and we communicate again, he invite me and it brings to me a different level. It says, hey, you stop me here. I'm not, you know, that type of communication, you know, where we, it, it, it tells, invite me to lead to some other direction, again, to move on to some other direction, which I'm open to that because I don't want to tell that it's complete. And um, I, that's why, like, I don't have sketch also because once we know where you're going, it is not uh, excitement for artists as a creator. So we don't keep in mind that we don't know what we're doing. Sometimes be as a stupid, just keep going. We know where to stop that time. We think that both parties, like myself and the characters, what I'm creating, have that communication and satisfaction. Stop there, come back, and he says, okay, we stopped here, but we want to move on. We'll go. I'll continue again with that. And that time, the whatever you see is the output, it will be different from the output what I created yesterday. Tomorrow it will be different. So I'm, I'm more into that actually. In a way that I have to say as an artist, uh, this is the first time actually you know, to do a, such a huge uh, uh, you know, sculptures, which I never imagined that I'm going to you know, create such a big uh, size. Because sometimes size matter actually, you know, because we have to show in that size, then the impact is there. Because uh, we have to go for that size because not to initially I was thinking to make something bigger not it's not like that actually the process started there but for this subject I need to go this uh, you know, uh, monument size then the impact is uh, you know, different so it, it it also happened but ideas there the mind I set there something I want to do bigger because when the output is coming the reason one of the reasons for the output is there because I think in a bigger way and vision is there you no know, to do something to create bigger so that is a one hour, uh, that's why I used to say for artists, you know, always you think something bigger, no? So in a way that we won't achieve that bigger, at least we can go up half of the size of what we think. So always I used to imagine in a bigger way and you know, even the tree of life concept which I created, uh, it was going bigger and bigger. For practical reason, we used to trim it and cut because I have to bring it outside from the, you know, the inside from the factory to outside. We didn't have a bigger, uh, what you call that, uh, uh, wall there, you know, the uh, out exit actually. The vision is there. I may go bigger in future also, but uh, uh, it's a right or wrong, I don't know. But I like to enjoy and ex uh, I don't, as I said, I don't restrict myself. Allow myself to go according to you know, whatever materials availabilities. When I come every day, my first visit after leaving my things there, my first visit is to go and see the junk area, no? what is new, uh, uh, what you call the waste materials today is available in the junk. So there the idea starts actually. You know, when I come, I don't think or I don't think with you know, tomorrow I'm going to prepare this or that. Available materials, what is there, just pick up and I put connected together and see how the materials because each metal has their own characters. You know, wood has its own character, steel has its own character. When you're going to combine together, then top of that I'm going to put another metal called bronze. So each three of them has different, different no, things. It can't be joined together. No, we can't weld wood and um, steel, or we can't weld with the wood or the, you know, and bronze. So three of them has its own character. We have to try to understand where you have to weld it, where you have to you know, put hole and drill it and place it. So all these technical things, that is additional value apart from our, you know, out, uh, what you call like uh, other than the RT. More than 30 to 35 pieces has been created in this uh, you know, few days of visited uh, in HCL. <music>of uh, challenges as with there and uh, um, you know sometimes the challenges for me is maximum 90 percent usage of the recycled materials because if i'm going to use according to the geometrical form of uh, drawings or uh, how i want to expect that the challenge is totally very easy actually to complete artworks when you want to decide to create a sculpture of available materials the challenging is more because for them they're not going to cut according to my uh, shapes of what I want actually. I have to follow their uh, recycled materials and create artworks according to the availabilities. The shapes must be, uh, forms and shapes must be created according to the, you know, uh, the scrap materials of what the wastage materials of what they're creating. So the challenging is a lot for me. You know?
don't want to make my artworks very easy that you no know, available is there and fix fix like that and create artworks because um, my challenging also like uh, how to create with the recycled materials and found medias of example like car parts and if you notice one sculpture which was very interesting for me is uh, the door um, you know like which i i didn't have I, it was there you no know, the door was there but i don't know for what i'm going to use the door it was it was communicating with me many days but that's the piece i did the last piece of uh, all the creations whatever i created and uh, one day i just put in the on top of the cylinder the door alone but i was when i visually i was looking at somehow it shows me the profile why don't you think about a woman uh, you know like a profile side profile of the woman there and the idea was start and click there but i didn't jump into that ideas immediately you know let me allow it whether you know i'm very open to that concept which ideas occur to my mind and i allow it to few days to you know, get into my mind and slowly uh, i'm started to visualize without putting the object there or the profile picture of women i visualized you know in a way that how is going to be look but i don't know what other parts you know only the door is there and top of that i i thought i get to put the nose and lips chin like that earrings and from there it started then from there it's developed to uh, the head forms and uh, adding materials all it happens and that moment <laughs> artworks this it was not uh, any pre plan or uh, again uh, sketches that i did you know i want to do the profile to add like this and the shapes the shapes and the forms happening at the moment then and there allow myself to explore with available materials so i can easily you know give a drawing to see and see mission to cut how i want to get entire form and i can fix it and that is not a, a, what you call that thrill and challenge also you know as an artist you try to experiment and explore uh, with uh, whatever is available and and try to achieve from there i don't know as i said i am 100% uh, f- you know uh, can connect with this what i'm emotionally what i'm trying to bring in my sculpture can be connect to the viewers that is i leave the viewers to um, engage and uh, let them be in part of my creations but for me i'm true to the materials as i said that i allow myself i allow my emotional feelings um I, i'm trying to achieve what i want to create in my you know sculpture and it happens and you can see all these creations has been uh, come out from my you uh, know the journey actually without any pre plan and usage of the available materials <music> at a very important exhibition that's taking place in Singapore currently so these artworks have been created using what we would once consider as waste and they have been upcycled they have been elevated to a very divine position which is art this is our inaugural artist collaboration art show which we have put together from a place of passion for the love of art So the star and artist of the show today is Mr. P Nana. We will be unveiling 36 sustainable art sculptures. In this project especially it comes very different than the usual what I do because I do a lot of collage in my paintings and using a mixed media and canvas. Mr. Lim who gave this opportunity for me to come and you know explore the medium. He said what all the medium you like it please go ahead create the artwork. He gave that freedom. That freedom also Uh, push me to beyond the boundary not to create all this the restriction is not there i was enjoying actually because this outcome is because of the emotional enjoyment or else uh, very difficult to express this feelings and then bring out this you uh, know the quality of art which i'm created i don't know whether it you will be enjoying or not but i enjoyed when this create art of because this inspiration comes from nature and this is a new experience for the opening actually amazing place and uh, really i think we hope you all enjoy this evening thank you very much
so the sculpture story started when mr nana you know just said oh let's go try it out and every single day i would come uh, you know go back and see in his workshop what he's trying to create and it was just mesmerized me i would be like oh my god like i just saw some you know scrap pieces of piece lying here in the morning and when i come back something extremely stunning uh, which is which is something which is truly creative and arty is what i see in the evening where mr nana has his beautiful imagination and that starts to build up and the magic was happening every single day you know literally the last 2 3 days the most beautiful my most favorite sculpture that he created just happened over a period of which some you know like a i would say very very mystically and uh, we were all so happy to see what has come up and i feel a great sense of satisfaction that amh is instrumental in bringing these sculptures to life so these are sustainable art sculptures you know fabricated using industrial ways that would otherwise be thrown away and i see these ways being converted to such beauty um such beautiful art form and it is up to the interpretation of the viewers there is a lot of emotion in me um honestly as i'm speaking right now i do feel very emotional um we have worked really really hard in the past months and seeing this come to fruition is a dream come true for me so i was very impressed with the artist work and uh i also want to thank him for letting my my employees have a chance to work with them Uh, on creating and turning some of our industrial ways into a magnificent art pieces like this. Highlight of the of this entire exhibition, which I really think is from his heart, is his uh, his dedication that comes through in his sculptures. I mean, uh, you know, the the whole idea of using something which creates waste, something which. um could be bad for the environment but to use it in a way that it's creative uh, really speaks not only about the artist but also about the heart of you know it, it's the artist and the human being and that that kind of connection i see in his work so i am truly amazed and so happy to be here i've been seeing nanas's work for the last 7 years now and i was always um, inspired by his uh, spontaneous creativity the way he creates the way he infuses his uh, divine um, work in his uh, very unique way of presenting like krishna and cow concept if you have seen lot of his sculptures which you can even how much ever you think at least it's a very unique way of uh, color combination everything and his mother and child concept is also very way awesome and outside today we have some amazing sculptures that are all made from raw metals from things that maybe you would throw away usually but he's brought them together into a a creation and he's added something very special like a little man playing an instrument or a cow or something just part of the metal that brings the whole story together so he's absolutely amazing my heart is really inspired he's an inspiration and i love his work uh i have been ex- exposed to this wonderful piece of art i've never seen art made out of scrap material and i believe he's personally gone to the industrial areas and taken scrap out of uh, out of thrown away scrap and then made art out of it out of all his paintings and artworks this one resonates a lot with me i really liked it this is one cow who standing right on top of which looks like a hill or a valley and just the whole element of water behind it is adding to the whole beauty of it i think the whole thing is beautiful the whole texturing of the colors in the scrap which to me seems like life because there's color to it so i really like this one uh, amongst a lot of others which i really enjoyed the kind of work that mr nana has done is to take a lot of the industrial pieces and to put it together into things of beauty 
and uh, industrial waste, industrial pieces which are discarded, which we would never look at ever, are turned into objects of beauty and there's a big lesson of life there, that everything is beautiful if you have the right eyes to see it with. And obviously he does and he's made that experience alive for all of us. I didn't have, uh, I never had, I'm going to have this type of composition first of all. So only this was the, this is the subject actually, with this leg. All of a sudden it was adding like, I keep on adding, then it shows me something like temple, no concept is coming like based on temple or uh, like something like related to spiritual. And that is there in my mind, but I don't know how to deliver, no, what is going to come out, how to add in, and also I have to check out the available material also. Even my idea is there. What is suitable materials for to my idea, I have to also think on both sides. So remaining parts is happened based on the ideas and also the available materials. Here we are at a monumental and emblematic sculpture by P. Miana. And the sculpture is entitled, Listen as she speaks. And she has a lot to say. She has a lot to share about life, about Mother Earth, about the ecosystem that we are in, what to do, what not to do, the higher source, so much to say, if only we lend our ears to her. So this is the essence of this sculpture. Listen as she speaks. Every day of your life is lived with a piece of art by your side that you can use. So it must, it's not just to look at, it's also to use and to benefit from and to enjoy. And that's really what life is all about, to enjoy every day like a piece of art, because that's what life is. It's a work of art. Thanks.